Trump issued a new threat to North Korea on Friday. Trump had earlier said U.S. would unleash fire and fury on Pyongyang. China, North Korea's ally, hopes all sides can do more to help ease the crisis. President Donald Trump issued a new threat to North Korea on Friday, saying the U.S. military was locked and loaded as Pyongyang accused him of driving the Korean peninsula to the brink of nuclear war and world powers expressed alarm. The Pentagon said the United States and South Korea would proceed as planned with a joint military exercise in 10 days, an action sure to further antagonize North Korea. Meanwhile, Russia, China and Germany voiced dismay at the escalating rhetoric from Pyongyang and Washington. Trump, vacationing at his Bedminster, New Jersey, golf resort, kept up the war of words and again referenced North Korea's leader in his latest bellicose remarks toward Pyongyang this week. Military solutions are now fully in place, locked and loaded, should North Korea act unwisely, he wrote on Twitter. Hopefully Kim Jong-un will find another path the term locked and loaded, popularized in the 1949 war film Sands of Iwo Jima starring American actor John Wayne, refers to preparations for shooting a gun. Asked later by reporters to explain the remark, those words are very, very easy to understand. Again referring to Kim, Trump added, if he utters one threat, or if he does anything with respect to Guam or any place else that's an American territory or an American ally, he will truly regret it, and he will regret it fast. Friday's tweet by the Republican president, a wealthy businessman and former reality television personality, came after the North Korean state news agency, KCNA, put out a statement saying Trump is driving the situation on the Korean peninsula to the brink of a nuclear war. Guam, the Pacific island that is a U.S. territory, posted emergency guidelines on Friday to help residents prepare for any potential nuclear attack after a threat from North Korea to fire missiles in its vicinity. Do not look at the flash of fireball it can blind you, the guidelines stated. Take cover behind anything that might offer protection. Guam is home to a strategically located U.S. air base, a Navy installation, a Coast Guard group and roughly 6,000 U.S. military personnel. KCNA said on Thursday the North Korean army would complete plans in mid-August to fire four intermediate-range missiles over Japan to land in the sea 18 to 25 miles 3,040 kilometers from Guam. The United States, which is technically still at war with North Korea after the 195,053 Korean conflict ended with only a truce, wants to stop Pyongyang from developing nuclear missiles that could hit the United States. North Korea, a reclusive nation with an underdeveloped economy and few allies, sees its nuclear arsenal as protection against the United States and its partners in Asia. Back channels Trump said he did not want to talk about diplomatic back channels with North Korea after U.S. media reports that Joseph Yoon, the U.S. envoy for North Korea policy, has engaged in diplomacy for several months with Pak Song-il, a senior diplomat at Pyongyang's UN mission, on the deteriorating relations and the issue of Americans imprisoned in North Korea. In Moscow, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov urged Pyongyang and Washington to sign up to a previously unveiled joint Russian-Chinese plan under which North Korea would freeze missile tests and the United States and South Korea would impose a moratorium on larger-scale military exercises. Neither the United States nor North Korea has embraced the plan. Lavrov said the risks of a military conflict over North Korea's nuclear program are very high and Moscow is deeply worried by the threats from Washington and Pyongyang. Unfortunately, the rhetoric in Washington and Pyongyang is now starting to go over the top, Lavrov said on live state television at a forum for Russian students. We still hope and believe that common sense will prevail. The annual joint our South Korean military exercise, called Ulchi Freedom Guardian, is expected to proceed as scheduled starting on August 21, said Lieutenant Colonel Christopher Logan, a Pentagon spokesman. Trump's latest comments were a continuation of days of incendiary rhetoric, including his warning on Tuesday that the United States would unleash fire and fury on Pyongyang if it threatened the United States. Amid the heated words, South Koreans are buying more ready to eat meals that could be used in an emergency and the government is planning to expand nationwide civil defense drills planned for on August 23. Hundreds of thousands of troops and huge arsenals are arrayed on both sides of the tense demilitarized zone between the two Koreas. Tension in the region rose when North Korea staged two nuclear bomb tests last year and increased further when it launched two intercontinental ballistic missile tests in July in defiance of world powers. The United Nations this month tightened sanctions on Pyongyang after it tested two intercontinental ballistic missiles designed to carry nuclear warheads to the United States.
The damage inflicted on world stocks this week by the tensions topped $1 trillion by Friday, as investors again took cover in the yen, the Swiss franc, gold and government bonds. U.S. financial markets took the rhetorical escalation in stride on Friday. The Dow Jones Industrial Average rose 0.06%, while the SP 500 gained 0.12%, and the Nasdaq Composite was up 0.64%. German Chancellor Angela Merkel said there is no military solution to the dispute, adding that an escalation of the rhetoric is the wrong answer. I see the need for enduring work at the UN Security Council, as well as tight cooperation between the countries involved, especially the US and China, Merkel told reporters in Berlin. Trump said hours later, let her speak for Germany. EU foreign policy chief Federica Mogherini has called a meeting of EU member states next week to discuss what action they will take regarding North Korea. There were no changes as of Friday morning in the U.S. military status in the continental United States or in the Pacific military command readiness or alert status, U.S. officials said. China, North Korea's most important ally and trading partner, hopes all sides can do more to help ease the crisis and increase mutual trust, rather than taking turns in shows of strength, the Chinese foreign ministry said. Trump on Thursday again urged China to do more to resolve the situation. Also Riyad India asks North Korea to refrain from nuclear and ballistic missile program a successfully tested intercontinental ballistic missile North Korea.